everybody, I'm Luke. From cave walls to stone tablets to paper, maps have consistently updated to capture and reflect information relevant to our daily lives. Digital maps should therefore help us navigate the often hectic surroundings of places like New York City. However, they show restaurants, attractions, places of interest, and directions to these places. These things are useful but New York City changes every second of every day. So where are the things on the map that change with it? The things that capture the living, breathing organism that is New York City. Where's that piece of Banksy street art that went up last night? Or the water main break that shut down half of a neighborhood? These are things that we want to see, that would be useful to know, but the maps we use now don't show us. It's for this reason that I developed TURF. TURF is a map-based platform to create and discover real-time searchable information about your city. It shows the things that happen every second of every day, the things that we see and experience that can be used as a common and shared resource. TURF is about discovery and sharing stories about our surroundings now. This is what TURF looks like. It uses the interactive language of many different platforms that we already use into one place so that we can discover that Banksy street art, or the water main break, or perhaps even the magician in Madison Square Park. It does this with two views. The map view, which shows the amount and type of posts around you right now, or wherever you've searched. And the feed, which shows you the details to these posts. It's here that you see a photo, a description, its distance from you, and the time it has left on the map. By giving each post a lifespan, it ensures that no post stays too long, that the map stays relevant. So it's also here that you can have a hand in the relevance of the map and actually update the lifespan of each post. So you do this by swiping. Swiping right actually extends the lifespan of each post so that it stays longer and more people can see it. Alternately, by swiping left, you're actually reducing its lifespan so it disappears faster and then the map stays more up to date. It's also here that you can create content. There are two types of content creation, questions and posts. This is your opportunity to continue and contribute the conversation of turf. So by adding a question, it's your opportunity to ask something of the TERF community. So you can locate in a place, and any TERF member passing by is prompted to answer. When they do, you receive the response. Posting regular content is where you get to continue the conversation and actually show what you think is important on the map. So you locate it. Add a short description and a photo to show why it's important. And then decide whether you want it to be viewed from anywhere or from within a short distance of where that post was created. You also decide what category best fits that post. So by posting more and voting more, you make the map more relevant. And most importantly, you and the turf community are more aware of your surroundings. Now, a short look at uh, turf in the real world.
turf allows you to discover the things that aren't normally on maps. It's your personal connection to your city and the things around you. But it doesn't have to stop there. Turf can be used by many people or organizations. Its capabilities are de decided by the community that use it. So it could use, be used to track the happenings of a political demonstration contributed by groups of people or organizations, or shared among family and friends while traveling to see what's happening in a place, what's interesting about it when you're actually there. You as the turf community decide what is relevant and therefore what appears on the map. By collaboratively creating and updating the posts on the map, you can update maps to reflect our lives in dynamic spaces. You can find out more about my process with TURF at exploreturf.com. And in the lobby today, I have a physical demo that I invite you all to participate in. So during our breaks, feel free to take a post and put it up on the map. Thank you. <laughs>